In this video, we're going to learn how to be able to calculate the effective interest rate, APY, annual percentage yield. The annual percentage yield tells us what would the corresponding simple yearly interest rate be given the number of periods we are compounding per year. So we're going to start off with a problem where we want to be able to determine how much interest we're going to earn, or actually the future value of $1,000 compounded daily at 6% interest. The time is one year. Since it's compounded daily, that would be 365 times per year. The periodic interest rate is going to be equal to the 6% <coughs> divided by 365. <coughs> that tells us this is the periodic interest rate. The N is equal to the M, which is 365, times the T, which is 1. That tells us we get 365 interest periods per year. So the future value is the $1,000 times, open parentheses, the amount that we are 1 plus the I, close parentheses, exponent button 365, which tells us as money we are going to have at the end of the year $1,061.83. Well, since we want to find the corresponding interest rate, we're going to use the formula for simple interest rate, where the rate is equal to the amount of interest earned divided by the present value times the time. So the first thing we have to do is calculate the amount of interest earned, which is the future value minus the present value. That tells us we earn $61.83 in one year. So using the interest rate formula, we're going to take the simple interest is equal to the amount of interest earned divided by open parenthesis. Let's go back a little bit. Open parenthesis. P, which is the principal, times the time, which is 1. Close the parenthesis. And of course, since it's money, this is in that format. We're going to change this to general. And look, we have our simple interest rate, or basically this would be the simple interest rate per year that corresponds to 6% compounded daily. Now I'm going to leave it in this format because I want to, don't want to be able to do this all the time. What I want to do is use the formula on Excel which says that we're going to go to formulas, financial, EF effect. There are going to be two windows on the template. The first is the nominal interest rate, where we're going to put in the annual percentage rate, or the R. And the second is going to be the M per Y, which is the view how many periods do we have per year. So for this particular situation, since we have 6% interest compounded daily, how would that correspond using the formula to what we have already calculated? So we're going to go to formulas. We go to financial. We go to effect. Remember, the nominal rate is the 6% per year. The N per Y is the M, which is 365 times for the year. And you notice that the interest rate is exactly the same. I want to change that to a percent, so I'm going to go to percentage. I'm going to increase the number of decimal digits. And that tells me, now let's go to this, that we have approximately 6 and 183 thousandths percent per year. Now let's say we want to take 5% interest, and we want to find out what would be the effective interest rate if it is compounded yearly, semi-yearly, quarterly, monthly, semi-monthly, which means twice a month or 24 times per year, weekly, 52, and finally daily, 365. Now, because we're going to do this for these seven different periodic interest rates, we're going to have to copy the 5% because I want to create the formula once and only once. So I'm going to go to formulas. Since I used effective interest already, I can go to recently used, which is effective. The nominal rate is 5%. So I'm going to click on F4 in order to be able to get a fixed cell. On a Mac, you're going to do Compose T. 
and the n per y is the m, the first one, or command T on a Mac, excuse me, and that gives you the dollar signs. So we notice that the interest rate of 4.5%, and basically that's what it is, so let's go back and change that so we can actually see that, of 4.5% is exactly 4.5%. Now, copying this formula, we're going to go down and we notice that the interest rate is increasing steadily as it goes on. And you can see that it's copied. If it's compounded quarterly, we have the 4.5% compounded four times a year. And if we have it weekly, it's the 4.5% compounded 52 times per year. Changing this all to a percent, you notice it's going to the nearest percentage, but we want to see it in decimal notation. So we increase the number of decimal places, and we see that it goes all the way from 4.5% to almost to 4 and, let's say, 602% of, of uh, interest per year.